Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored Better Off Reading Every Day. Today I have two books for you all about my favorite outdoor activity during the hot, hot, hazy humidity days of summer. It is sidewalk chalking. The first one is called Sidewalk Chalk Poems of the City and this is by Caroline Boston Weatherford and it's illustrated by Dementria to cute below. And the second one is Sidewalk Flowers by John Armand Lawson and Sidney Smith. And this is a book with no words. So I'm going to have to get closer to you to show you all the beautiful pictures that tell the story. Sidewalk Chalk Poems of the City. On the corner, the shoe shine man pops a cloth across black wingtips, his face reflected in polished leather. As little girls jump double dutch, beaded braids swing, swirl and click, brothers with time on their hands croon three-part harmony setting the pace for foot traffic up and down the sidewalk. A boy with a boombox heads to the blacktop to shoot hoops. At the bus stop, a lady tooting and shopping bag, toting shopping bags tells me, be careful crossing the street, honey. Sidewalk chalk, big and bold now. Write your name, draw an arrow, then take aim at Puffy Heart. Kim loves Kyle. Droolings, sure to bring a smile. How about some tic-tac-toe? You'll be X, I'll be O. Draw a yellow happy face, or the finish line for a relay race. A wide, wide river to leap across. A little circle for beanbag toss a bigger circle to play dodgeball trace a shadow 10 feet tall make a line for tug of war and signs that no one dare ignore create a sun with a beaming gangrin a great white shark with a giant fin draw a square to make home plate a swirling figure eight to skate Big and bold now, write your name. Keep the score for sidewalk games. Eat at Moe's, crispy, crunchy, golden brown. Moe's meals are the best in town. Oil is sizzling, the grill is hot. Red beans simmer in a pot. Bacon frying for BLTs, burgers beg for melted cheese. Lake trout wears cornmeal coat, french fries sail in paper boats. Steak subs cry for onion rings. Hot sauce fires up chicken wings. White bread hugs a fried pork chop. Crushed ice chills a soda pop. Mo grills hot dogs. Hums a tune as folks chow down at the greasy spoon. Strays, Hazel Harris lives alone, gathers table scraps and bones for cats and dogs who have no homes. Hazel Harris cares for strays, week in, week out, and holidays serves them food on battle tr on battered trays. Hazel loves each alley cat and scruffy dog with fees fleas to scratch. Her backyard gates a welcome mat. Rubber tire garden. A rubber tire yields surprise. A tiny garden that butterflies. The block with purple posy, purple pansy blooms and pink rosebud buds such sweet perfume.
cool pool. The park pool is in aisles of cool in the hot city. Mom sips lemonade while toddlers wade and splash about. My friends make waves and water sprays everywhere. What fun in swimming suits like tropical fruits. We bask in golden sun. Chocolate buddies. We take a break from kickball when we hear the silvery chime of the ice cream truck sounding its song of summertime. Coins in my pocket jingle as we hurry down the street, mouths watering and sweet dripping in the blazing noonday heat. I buy some treats for us to share, two cones, each with a scoop. How chocolate sweetens friendship as we chill on our stoop. One red cent. On the pavement, there's a penny. Somebody surely dropped, but no one walking by even takes the time to stop. Maybe folks would bother if that red cent were a dime. I save spare change in a jar. I'll make that penny mine. Lucky numbers. Before Uncle Zeke rises from bed, he checks his dream book for lucky numbers to play. Swears he's gonna win the lotto. Last night, I dreamed of my math test. Wonder if that means I'll get 100. A cardboard box. What can you do with a cardboard box? Use it to show off your precious rocks? Build a clubhouse with a door? Or a counter for a grocery store? Make a stage for puppet shows? A slippery sled for winter snows? Invent a robot, a high-tech buddy. Craft a chair to sit and study. Design a rocket bound for Mars or turbo-driven racing cars. Make a sign that says no boys or a chest for all your favorite toys. Don't throw that cardboard box away. Save it to jazz up a rainy day. A cardboard box. The laundromat. And this will be our last one from this book. When the laundromat opens at 7.30, neighbors pile clothes that are grimy dirty into tubs of washing machines to swoosh around till the loads are clean. I change a darla for shiny quarters and pass a washer that's out of order. I munch on peanuts while the wet clothes dry. Mom laughs with friends and babies start to cry. Mom rests on earth the dryer baby hears it hum. They drift off to dreamland, sucking on her thumb. When the dryer buzzes, I help my mom fold. Time like this, I kind of wish I was still three months old. And that is the end of the selections from this book, Sidewalk Chalk, Poems of the City, for from Caroline Boston Weatherford. Beautiful book of poetry. Boys and girls, I do not own the rights to any of these books that I am reading to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of our next story is that I'm going to have to get closer to you because it has no words. So I have to show you the pictures right up close so you can see the story. my hands from all this chalk, right?
And that is the end of Sidewalk Flowers. Boys and girls, it is Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. I wanted to share these books with you all about sidewalk chalk. I love sidewalk chalking. There is several books here. This one is Sidewalk Chalk Games. This one is Sidewalk Chalk Games as well. And this one is Squeaky Chalk by Joy Sidorsky and other fun things to draw and do when there is nothing to do. So we have all these fun books. And then of course we have our sidewalk chalk. But we have all of these fun books to have fun with your friends with sidewalk chalk. Bet you didn't know that, right? It's not just for drawing. It's not just for art. It's also for engaging in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I know it gets all over your hands and sometimes that bothers some children, but when you're done, you can go ahead and just go wash that off. It comes right off. And the beauty is that it leaves great art on the ground that you have made. It's an original sidewalk chart art by you. Boys and girls, I will see you really, really soon. And get out there and have some chalking.